Good morning, good day, good night uh, to all of you, uh, lovely people out there. Um, I'm back. Uh, this is Chris Wall, Chris's Caribbean Delights, or Chris Wall YouTube. I have two channels, um, just uh, with recipes on end. Um, today I'm going to try to, I'm going to not try to, I'm going to um, uh, walk you through. Uh, how to make the fluffiest, the fluffiest cream cheese loaf of bread. Um, it's it's a new concept to me because you know I uh, I I look for new things and I found this one and it I tried it and it was wonderful. So uh, here are the ingredients that you'll need. And thanks again for tuning in and watching. So, for this simple uh, fluffy cream cheese loaf, you'll need, first of all, three and a half cups of uh, all-purpose flour. Three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You need two and a quarter teaspoons of uh, instant yeast, one teaspoon of salt, and uh, three quarters, a quarter cup of sugar, one egg, which you're going to incorporate one cup of milk. You need a three quarter cup of uh, one third cup of cream cheese and a three quarter cup of butter. And we also use uh, for this is for the um, the egg wash two teaspoon two tablespoons of milk and one egg. We'll whisk this together when we're ready to use it. So. I'll be incorporating the ingredients, the ingredients uh, right now. So here we go. Yeast, you put your yeast in. That's uh, two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, one teaspoon of salt, quarter cup of uh, sugar. Those are your dry ingredients, and you just make, whisk that all in, get it all. Uh, incorporate it into the flour, mix it all up. Once that's well mixed in here, okay, that's whisked in. We'll add our egg. One egg and a cup of milk. And we're gonna bring our dough together. Mix until the dough forms. Break that egg up in there. You can go in with your hands and do this, but I just uh just didn't feel like doing that. I wanted to just get it. Use my uh, my ricer, rice spoon. So we'll get this dough together, and we'll be right back. Yes, and then uh, once you started mixing that, you get your cream cheese in there. That incorporated into the dough also. Okay, so now our dough has come together. cover this and let it rest for 20 minutes cover this and let it rest for about 20 minutes then we'll be right back to add our butter and continue the process
See you in 20 minutes. Okay, and okay, and it has been 20 minutes, or a little more than 20 minutes. Or they got caught up in doing some other stuff. Um, now we're gonna add this uh, softened butter. We're gonna add the softened butter, and we'll incorporate this into the dough. So we have to let the dough rest for a little before we put the butter in. Um, what's the strategy in that? I haven't found out yet, but I'll let you know. So we mix this in well, get all the butter incorporated in there, into the dough. has to be softened so that it can easily spread throughout the throughout the dough so just ensure make sure that the butter is softened Now I'm going to get a little flour to do my surface because I'm going to take it out of the I'm going to take it out of the of the bowl right now. So on a floured surface, we're going to start working on it, working with it. It's nice and soft. And so we'll just be kneading this until it gets to an elast elastic -y, uh, texture. So <clears throat> so let's see, let's get started on that. I know. Most people, most of you know how to knead. So you just like pull it in, push it away, pull it in, push it away, pull it in, push it away. Just make sure you got your your uh, your, so your uh, flour and the surface is uh, surface is floured uh, properly. Um, you may need a little extra. So just keep flour at hand. So you pull it in, push it away, pull it in, push it away, pull it in, push it away, and you turn it around as you're doing that. You pull it in, push it away, pull it in, push it away, pull it in, push it away, and just keep doing that until it gets to that consistency. When I get to that consistency, it takes pro probably about five minutes or so. Um, uh, when it gets to that consistency, I'm going to come back immediately and let you see what it looks like. So folks, after about 10 minutes of, of kneading, uh, which is a good workout, um, it should be into the, into the elasticity it should be like in like an elastic uh, uh, band. Um, when you see when you stretch it out, it shouldn't pop. It shouldn't you shouldn't get holes in it. It should be able to be stretched, you know, as not as far as you can go, but stretched without popping, without without breaking. And then you know that uh, the glutens are working, and everything is worked in there, and it's ready to be proof. So 
we'll just put it in make a ball a lovely ball like this and we have our our, uh, our bowl right here you just oil the bowl for a little put it in there and swish it around and make sure oil it's oiled all over so it will rise you leave now for an hour leave it now for an hour until it doubles in size so at that point we'll be right back so our dough has doubled in size after about an hour hour and a half and I gave it some extra time so right now we just take the gas out of it just punch it down punch it down take the gas out and just pick it up from the sides of the bowl and again we need to get it back on the surface be a lightly flowered, lightly flowered surface, but once it gets to a certain, uh, a certain texture, you don't need the flour anymore. You don't need the, to flour everything again. So you just spread it out. You spread it out like that. Divide him, divide it, divide it in two, in two parts. So, divide it in two parts. You're gonna work with one part first, so we just put one part back into the uh, into the bowl, rest it there. very tightly very tightly and try to roll this as tightly as possible as tightly as possible I mean we have all different uh, techniques in doing this but um, as long as it's tight this must be rolled really pretty tightly That the seal, the edge is sealed. Make sure the edge is sealed. So now, now that we have this all rolled out like this, this is the length of your of your pan. This is the length of your pan, right? Uh, I don't know what is it, thirteen by nine or whatever, thirteen by five. Um, but that's the length of your pan. <clears throat> now, we cut this into eight, eight pieces. Uh, we'll do eight cuts, and then we put it in the pan. Then it has to proof again. It has to go for another hour, another four to five minutes to an hour. Okay. So I divided it into eight equal parts. I'll show you that process again in the once I do the other one then we'll transfer it we'll transfer to to our pan we we'll transfer it to our pan so we'll take the first four carefully and put them into the pan then take the second four takes a little skill here and put them into the pan and match them up just like if it's the the the, the um the loaf again the loaf okay so it's all matched up there 
right? So we'll do the second one. Spread this out. And we roll very tightly. Make it a tight roll. Maybe about nine inches. But a very tight tight roll, tuck the sides in, keep rolling, keep rolling until you get to the end and seal the edges, seal the edges, edges down, tuck in the sides and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then our second pan, we'll just transfer to our second pan. I line my pans with uh, some parchment paper, you know, to avoid the sticking. Um, I oil also oiled it. So it says oil on the bottom, parchment paper on top, and I oil the parchment paper also. So, oops. That's okay. We can fix that. Okay. Alrighty. Good. So. Now, we're going to set this aside, uh, cover it, and have it uh, proof again for an hour. Okay, so this is just going to sit, it's going to sit and let it rise again, double in size, probably. Four to five minutes to an hour. It will be good. Once it's risen again, we'll do our egg wash, which I'll, I'll, beat, up, I'll beat right now. Just uh, two tablespoons of uh, milk and one egg. So. We'll just get that ready. is ready and once that's uh, proofed and raised again and we'll egg wash it and then put it in the oven at 350 uh, for about 25 30 minutes so here we are after an hour We'll now do the, the egg wash. We'll put the egg wash on here. Very lightly.
Okay, now, once we've done the egg wash, we put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes, and then we'll check it. 350 degrees, 25 minutes. Always like it on the middle shelf. Five minutes, I'll be right back. Here we are, guys. The perfect, uh, the fluffy cheese, cream cheese loaf. It's the cream cheese loaf. When it when it cools off, I just got them out of the oven. When it cools off, I'll show you how fluffy it is. Let's see if we can turn one out right now. So let's see, let's see how fluffy we got. We can just, just break it open. Oh, it's hot. Oh, see that steam that's coming out of there? It's fluffy and nice. Excellent. You need now a little butter in there. It's delicious. Is this enough butter? Oh yeah. Take that first bite. Let's take a bite. Hey, where are you? Here we are. fluffiest cream cheese loaf of bread try this my guys it's wonderful like share and subscribe see you in the next video let's bread it up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you like this video give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe see you in the next video is this enough mother <laughs> Take that first bite. Let's take a bite. Hey, where are you? Here we are. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. The fluffiest cream cheese loaf of bread. Try this, my guys. It's wonderful. Like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Let's bread it up.
like this video give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe see you in the next video